What's up guys? And uh, welcome to this episode of uh, I Wonder How To. So today I am going to show you how to uh, make basic animations with the RGB LEDs. Uh, I have actually been trying to figure this out for a while. Uh, how to make it neat and simple. And uh, I have actually come up with a, a solution which is it's not the most elegant solution but it works for basic animations and uh, well I'd like to share it with you guys. So first off this scroller function and this clean function is the same as I've used in the past videos. Uh, only difference is that scroller now takes two more arguments. It takes a width and a height. Um, and it changes the x and y axis or x and y coordinates for each LED with a modular width for x and y for height for y. Uh, because I realized that the way I did it you had to have an animation which was just uh, 16 by 10 in order to make it scroll properly. So I had to change that. So now you can have any size animation you want. I also added these two if cases right here. Uh, for some reason the animation just bundled up and became really weird when I tried using negative values for x, x off and y off. So basically if x LED is less than 0 then set it to width. So that if the if the LED's position is set to be outside the shades to the left put it as far to the right as you can in this animation. And the same goes of course for uh, the y-axis. So that's why that's there. I'm not sure why it doesn't work like this. It should, but well, if anyone can spot it, uh, please notify me so I can uh, adjust my code because this is a bit frustrating. It's not beautiful. It's really ugly to keep it like this and uh, well, it, sh it shouldn't it shouldn't work like that so well. If anyone spots the error, please tell me. So for the actual animation, um, when I say animation this time I'm not referring to having a box or a, I don't know, whatever, scroll past your uh, uh, your shades. I'm meaning frame by frame animating an object so that it looks like it's something moving. So in order to do this there is already a technique present for this uh, which is widely used in video games especially older video games and it's called sprites. So for those who doesn't know what a sprite is, it's basically a number of images which represent each step in a movement so for the example I'm going to demonstrate today, I have uh, two eyes, one on each eye of the shades, uh, blinking. Quite simple. And uh, the sprite for this would then look like uh, like this. Let's see here if I can move the sprite over. So there we go these are the sprites. So this one up here I don't think you can see my mouse here because I'm not capturing that window. Oh well. Uh, the uppermost pair of eyes is the first frame the first step in the animation for the well for the animation. Uh, <clears throat> and then the second pair of eyes uh, below the first set of eyes is the second step in the animation the lines is the third and the, and well last step in the closing of the eye and then we're starting to open the eye once more uh, at the very bottom. 
and if you loop these after each other it will look like the eyes are closing and then opening again and it will do this at an even pace so how can we make this turn into something which is animated well it's quite simple actually we use the same technique as before to make adva to scroll advanced shapes which cannot be easily derived from uh, maths so we got two static arrays right here representing the x and y coordinates for each pixel and as you can see here <clears throat> there are some of these pixels which are out of in the y coordinates array which are out of bounds for the shades we got 7 here 12 17 12 16 18 so the shades are basically just five LEDs high which means that the highest possible value we can display the highest possible Y coordinate we can display on the shades is four since they start at zero at the very top topmost row so 7 12 17 are all out of scope all not scope all out of range for the shades uh, however uh, we don't break the program by trying to trying to light these up um, this XY function here has a built-in safety so that that won't happen so anyway in order to animate this you you make your sprite and you calculate your coordinates for each pixel and it's actually mostly the Y coordinate in this case you have to worry about because the first set of eyes will always be or well the first X coordinate for all eyes will always be zero and I got a couple of zeros here and then it will be one and two and three so basically the X coordinates shouldn't take that long to deduce because well um, they they will be the same because the the X the, the animation doesn't change in X axis in any way just sh it changes in Y axis so, yeah I hope you understand what I mean there so basically you just have to count each count for a, each column in the image how many pixels are there in that column and then write that many uh, well numbers for that coordinate that may, was maybe clearer so once you have derived your um, coordinates you should note how far between each step in the animation you have so for my for my sprite right here if I grab a pen and then some color and I start drawing we see that I have one two three four five high is the first set step the second step one two three four five third step is one two three four five and the last step is one two three four five so basically this is 20 pixels high and uh, it uh, it has five pixels for each step in the animation height wise that was not the correct window sorry about that so what that means is that if we take the scrolling function which we have used earlier to just scroll shapes which can actually make this animate shapes as well so right here I'm calling the scroll oh dear right here I'm calling the scroller and down here we see that I'm not scrolling at all in X axis because the first value is of course X off so the X axis offset however I am scrolling five pixels in the Y axis so that means that the first iteration the first step in the animation or the first pass of the function the image will jump from being 
I'll bring it up for you again. It will jump from being up here to being down here. And the reason I'm, I'm jumping from the top up here to the bottom down here is because of the issue I have with my scroller function. I'm working on it, but I haven't found out why it doesn't work to scroll negatively in the y-axis, despite my fix. So I'm, I'm working on that. So basically it jumps from up here to down here. And in the next step, I'm jumping from down here to up here. Next step, up, down here, to up here. And next step, down here to up here once more. And then we have made a full lap and it will continue doing so. And because there are five pixels in each frame of the sprite, we have to put five down here, which means that it will jump five pixels each time and it will look like it's animated. It will look like blinking eyes, pretty simply. So, what are the drawbacks of this? Well, the drawbacks is that it takes a bit of time to get all the pixels right. Messing up something in the Y coordinates, I suppose, can be really, really hard. And as you can see, there are quite a few of them. We have uh, 124 LEDs in this animation. And, uh, well, it, it uses a bit of memory. This animation is uh, pretty good, memory-wise. It uses 966 bytes of the available 2048 bytes, so it's not that bad. Oh well, no, it's it's not just this. I suppose it's the whole um, the whole driver for the shades, of course. But it's not that bad. It's only forty-seven percent of the space used for global variables that is used. So it is pretty okay. Um, but as I said, this is a way to animate things that cannot be simply expressed in math and for loops and such, which is of course the preferable way to do things. So yeah, that's how you um, how you animate shapes and uh, I will now show you the result. It's not gonna have the same colors uh, and you'll actually see sort of a preview of what I'm going to talk about in my next video, which will be on putting a speck of color into your animations in a simple way. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I hope to see you next time, and have a good night. Bye.